vlog time. Here we go. Just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder, I show up in this. This is a 1976 uh, Toyota Chinook. It's a half Toyota. Uh, it's a Toyota pickup truck front. It is a mini RV in the rear. This thing's touching me. It's hot and sweaty back here. <laughs> it's not, um, you know, this is a newly acquired project as well. This one's actually going to be my dad's. It is my dad's. I mean, it's his. He really likes it. He doesn't want to change anything. He doesn't want to rip all this stuff out. I think it all should go. But my dad's very uh, basic and he loves it the way it is. So I don't know. We're going to fix it up a little bit. But I mean, it's got carpet on the floor, like an orange shag carpet. It is. It's a shag orange carpet. It's the orange. <laughs> my 76 Dodge has lime green shag carpet. It's like the orange version of my Dodge. But over there, there's a, a two burner stove and a hood system on top. There's a sink right next to where my phone's sitting. There's a countertop all the way up to the uh, back of the driver's seat. And then there's a useless ledge up there. It's supposed to be a bed. I certainly couldn't sleep up there, even with the shelf out. It's useless, but yeah. I just thought I would take the Toyota Chinook out because it's a uh, cool ride and um, I want to get the ball rolling on this one and really start getting it roadworthy too. Uh, my dad is actually, when I leave on my journey, my dad is going to tag along for the first leg. It's not going to last that long. He's not going to be with me all that long. But we're going to see an aunt and a sister, his daughter, my sister. Um, and, uh, you know, so yeah, this will be going on the road a little bit too. So you'll be saying this in videos. Are you ready for life elevated? Well, I hope you are because that's what this, this truck is all about. It is a camper top. Toyota Chinook 1976 is um, classified as a mini RV. Um, it's got a Toyota pickup truck front and a mini camper in the rear with a pop-up roof. Uh, it goes up about three feet. I can stand in here. Um, it's really a neat little thing. I think the way it's set up right now is very useless. Uh, yeah, let me do a little showing around, okay? So, right now I have the top down. I didn't, I'm in a 7-Eleven parking lot, so I didn't want to uh, extend the roof. I didn't think that would be very professional. Um, okay, so you see the driver's area up there. Above that, there's a bed. It's, just, it's supposed to be a bed. It's the most useless thing. It's tiny. It also has a shelf that pulls out and then suspends from the ceiling and makes it about twice as wide and it's still way too small for me. That's like a kid's bed. Um, where I'm sitting right now is a couch um, type of thing and that extends out into a full bed. Um, there's a board underneath me that's missing uh, that I need to cut and replace. Um, and then that is like a little closet. I think it's kind of useless as well. I'm thinking that would make a great area for air conditioning, something like that. Uh, on that side, then we have the two burner stove in the corner. We have a sink. Uh, so they're on board. There's a fresh water tank. Um, I don't like either of that stuff either. There's a hood above it um, that vents to the outside. That would make another good place for air conditioning because there's already a vent going to the outside. Um, there's a little table that uh, you can set up. It goes right in the middle. Um, I think it needs to be remade. But yeah, so that's that. I'm sweating my butt off in this thing because it is hot and it's the middle of the day. And uh, I just took the 76 Chinook out for a ride. Cause I want to start getting the ball rolling on this thing. I want to start um, fixing it up, making it roadworthy. <laughs> I drove it 
for 40 minutes today. I wouldn't exactly say it's road worthy, but it does good on the road. Transmission is just messed up. That shifter is thrashed. Um, so I have a replacement transmission. I'm actually going to be doing a five speed swap on this. It says uh, it bolts right up. I already got the transmission. Everything's ready to go. I just got to put it in. Um, so you can hear I'm out on a you know public road. Pretty much so it's loud around here. <sighs> so <laughs> just waiting on uh, my buddy to show up here. I'm gonna have a little lunch. I went inside. Got me a sandwich. I always have to re organize my sandwiches. I hate the way they just slap meat on there. All ununiform. <laughs> Anybody who has worked for me in the past knows that they don't want to make my sub because I'm such a pain to make my sub. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Do 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 do. <laughs> Little blast from the past there from my last place of business. Um, What's up, KB? Hey, I like my stuff made right. Sorry. I saw this and I had to get it. This is uh, a Stroop waffle. I saw this on, um, on Mighty Car Mods. I saw this was, uh, you know, random eat bag and they tried these so I had to try them when I saw that we had Stroop waffles. I remember they said you could heat it up or you could leave it cold. And look at that. It's like a it's like a little waffle. That looks amazing. It's got some caramel dripping on the side. This is the caramel flavor one. Stroop waffles are good. Oh yeah. I could see that microwaved for like 10 seconds would be amazing. <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten started on dessert. As hot as it is in here, it's pretty hot. There's a slight breeze coming from outside. Now, if I had some power, if I had some batteries um, to have some electric fans going, a little air circulation I think would do wonders. Um, I mean, I'm parked in direct sunlight, no uh, shade whatsoever, and it's still, you know. It's okay. Once you get covered in sweat, that's your body's natural way of cooling. Um, the little breeze helps you out. I'd much rather be in here than in the sunlight. Well, Unicorn Circuit, Stroop waffles, you were right. They're delicious. That is really good. Stroop waffle. Love it. The reason I keep raising my finger is so I know to slow down the video when I'm watching it. I wonder if I was to have this car in um, Great Britain if they would call this a caravan. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know the rules. Or Australia. Would you guys refer to this as a caravan? I don't know.
while we're here, we might as well have Holly's spinner moment. What we have here today is an odd one. This is serial number four. See, okay, we have serial number four. Uh, this is Modus Works. This is their spinner. It's a very basic design, but I enjoy it immensely. It is a lot of fun to play with. I love the way it looks like a little chunk spinning around. It looks cool. The ma my favorite thing about the Modus Works, um, they call it the spinema thing. My favorite thing about it is the sound it makes. I don't know. I'm going to put it over here by the... If it's so noisy out, you might not be able to even hear that, but this is Modus Works Spinema thing. I was meeting a buddy of mine up here at 7-Eleven that was selling this gorgeous car. Uh, really nice car, so I just had to throw a couple pictures up to show it off. Um, this will give you an idea of what it's like riding in the Chinook. Um, I just took a little bit of video of um, <laughs> what it feels like inside. It's like having your living room hanging out behind you. Curtains blowing around, squeaking and making noise, popping and snorting from the engine. It's quite a thing. Uh, but uh, my videos, I hope they're getting better. I know they kind of suck. Please just bear with me. I'm learning editing tools and you'll see I'll get new um, like upgrades to my editing as I go along and that's why I'm able to add new transitions and things like that and the videos will start getting better and better I promise a higher quality um, I like to deliver a good product but you know I think there's a lot to be said for working with what you have doing the best you can and just going for it so I've been having a lot of fun thank you for commenting and liking and watching and uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow in the next vlog. Good night.